Can it be English? Family, what's poppin', man? It's your boy, Boro, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Say Yes. All right, so today we are going to be hosting a What I Eat in a Day vlog, all right? So you guys are gonna get a feel for how I space and schedule my meals and what I'm eating, all right? Now, it's about 11 o'clock, all right? So we gotta go ahead and get the day started. But before we get into the day, just make sure to subscribe if you're a newbie and make sure to turn them post notifications on if you're already on the journey. Get that good lighting. <laughs> now, but anyways, family, so it's about 11.30 and, you know, we don't like to eat heavy meals early in the morning. We don't wanna, you know, just throw all this food in the body early in the morning while it's still detoxing from, from our sleep. You know, the body goes through certain detoxes when we're sleeping and you want to stay light so the first thing you really want to do in the morning is just hydrate water is the best thing to drink in the morning because it's electric all right and we are electric beings so you know just hydrating early in the morning is feeding your cells and as well um we haven't been drinking when we were sleeping so we're dehydrated so we need to fuel the body up with some agua now uh you already know about for distilled water but you know i get spring water in there here and there I have nothing, nothing wrong with spring water, you know, I just wanna stay away from tap and certain acidic bottled waters. But you guys can check out my previous videos on uh, why you should drink water for breakfast. And you should also check uh, my previous video on chlorophyll, all right? The benefits of chlorophyll. This is also what I've been consuming a little bit this morning, all right? So now I'm gonna show you guys the sea moss. I should have soaked some overnight, but I'm about to go work out. So what I'm about to do, you know, I'm about to go ahead and wash off this sea salt, okay? And I'm gonna soak this sea moss so by the time I get back, I can prepare my first meal, which will be a sea moss based smoothie, all right? It'll be nice and tender to get blended up by the time we get back, all right? You can see I was washing off the sea moss and it's over here soaking in this bowl now, but as you can see, this, this little piece over here, this little rock piece and this little seashell piece. This is coming straight from the coast of Jamaica, y'all. All right, so it's good sea moss right here. Good sea moss. And if you'd like to purchase some sea moss, I'll be leaving a link to our online store in the description below. All right, we have sea moss. We have a bunch of other herbs and other health supplements you guys can um, purchase and start utilizing in your daily regimen. All right, and we also have some apparel that we will be sporting way more, all right? But we definitely do have various t-shirts up there. But it's time to get up out of here. It's time to get these vegan games, all right? Alrighty, family, now, don't hate on my old blender now. Don't hate on the old blender. It gets the job done, all right? My, my, my grade A blender had a, little, had a little issue, but we got the backup on deck, all right? So don't hate. Anyways, so I got some coconut water up in this blender. I got some hemp powder and some maca. So I'm gonna make a little, you know, pre-workout shake, all right? A little natural shake. I recommend you guys to do things with natural supplements. You don't have to get all type of other products or go to GMC, get things. You can get some natural supplements and make your own pre-post workouts at home. All right, so I usually add more things, but when I get back, I'm gonna show you what other things I'm gonna add into a smoothie, including these ingredients that is gonna count for an actual meal. You could say this is somewhat of a meal as well too, but let me go ahead and whip this stuff up. Woo-wee! Ooh, get that good old mac in my system before we get this workout. Get the blood flowing. Let's get it, man. We on our way, guys. Riding through the streets like a ladder, like a ladder. She the baddest. He the saddest. He the
All right, family, so we're back at the crib. Just had a really good workout, man. So it's time to put something inside of the body, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a sea moss smoothie. I'm gonna show you guys um, a nice homemade shake to be made. Earlier, we made a little pre-workout, um, I would say shake, but it really didn't have too much supplements, ingredients in there. It was just coconut water. Uh, what we do in there, some maca and some hemp. That's all we really do in there. Now, this, this, specific smoothie shake I'm about to make. It's gonna be way thicker, all right? And it's gonna have sea moss in it, all right? So it's definitely gonna serve more as a meal. But let me go ahead and just show you the ingredients. Coconut right water for the base. I usually like um Golden Caribbean. That's my favorite uh coconut water brand. However, I can't always get my hands on that in this area. So got me some carton coconut water right here. Our sea moss is nice, nice and soaked, all right? See the... uh see the texture is ready to go it's pretty much soft and all of that all right like before we got the pink salt and cinnamon to blend up with the sea moss to make that gel and because this is a post-workout uh shake we want to get the chia seeds in there we still adding the hemp in there all right still got the mac in there and now to really thicken it up and get some more protein get some more fiber we're gonna throw some quick cooking rolled oats in there all right oats will really do the body well when you're you know really focused on getting some gains this shake is based on this shake is for a post workout all right so i'm drinking this or consuming this i should say because i'm trying to bulk up all right and i'm also trying to lose some body fat as well all right so even though I'm having a shake and a smoothie, we're still getting everything that I need, all right? Especially the calories. I don't really count calories, but, you know, I'm kind of at a point where I'm in tune with my body and I know, you know, how much to consume, how much is, I know how to keep the balance for the most part. But let's go ahead and blend this up, man. All right, throw some sea moss in there. All right, now we're gonna make sure that when we're adding our base, our coconut water, that we add the amount we add the amount to either make it a thicker smoothie or to make it thinner, okay? I'm gonna be putting a lot of things in here, so I'm gonna need a lot of coconut water. One scoop of some raw hemp, a scoop of some maca, and add some oats in there, all right? There we go. All right, and for the flavor, I added a little dash of cinnamon and a little bit of just a little bit. You want to add this whenever you're making either just some sea moss gel or you're making something with sea moss and you haven't made the gel separately. All right. So I started blending up the smoothie, but I almost forgot the chia seeds. So we're going to go ahead and add those. All right. We need that protein. We need that fiber. So the texture came out perfect. Not too thin, like not too watery, not too thick. All right. It's just, just creamy, creamy and perfect. So I just went ahead and threw this in my in my little cuppy cup and depending on how I feel off this depending on how I feel off this you know I might have a little bowl of oatmeal on the side but if not um, I'm gonna just read how my body feels because like I said guys I really go off of how my body feels and whatnot and uh, sometimes I feel like sometimes I'll have a shake like that and it'll fill me up. Sometimes it's like, okay, let me go grab peanut butter jelly and some oatmeal, all right? And I kind of plan to get a little bit more calisthenics in for the rest of the day. And then I'll have a meal later at, uh, later in the evening, okay? It's about like four something right now, all right? So as you can see, I pretty much get like the first meal of the day in pretty late. Uh, I've been getting so used to fasting in the morning that now I kind of stretch it sometimes, but I always make sure to hydrate early in the morning. And regardless of the fact if I'm eating at 11 o'clock or starting my first meal at two o'clock, um, when I hydrate early in the morning, I always feel light and energetic regardless. Okay, so don't let anybody tell you that you have to have a big, heavy meal because it's only going to weigh you down. All right, and then by the time noon come around, you crash it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and chuck this stuff down, see how I feel. Hopefully, you know, uh, fills me up. I feel good off of it. And I'm 
chilling while I go ahead and handle the rest of my errands for the day. All right, so we out of here. This, I ain't eating nothing else. <laughs> this joint is like halfway right now, and I'm feeling close to full, so I'm about to go ahead and just chug this, get this in my system, and just chill out and handle some things until it's time to have my last meal. All right, family, so we about to get into dinner time. It's about eight. I can't even really see the time from here. It's about eight something, though. All right, and I'm, I was beat today. All right, I really didn't feel like preparing anything else. So, you know, I just ran to seafood spot around the way from my block. They steam uh, fish over there, but they also have a bunch of vegetable packs. So what I like doing, I like going over there, steaming up some vegetable packs, adding certain seasonings, and then, you know, they go ahead, steam it, no oil, no none of that extra stuff. And then I got my veggies and I'm good to go. All right, now this cost me, it was four packs. Each pack costs $150 of vegetables. All right, so you do the math, that's $6. However, you just meal prepping and having your vegetables and your, you know, vegetables, frozen vegetables ready for stir fry or whatever the case may be, spending way less money than getting vegetables, you know, from outside or whatever. But once again, this is just what I eat in a day so you guys could see no matter whether I'm getting the food outside, uh, next episode, we're probably going to do more cooking, more chefing up, because all we really did today was prepare uh, that, you know, first pre-shake, pre I, I would say, and then we had the actual uh, a thicker sea moss blend shake, you know, that was more so of a meal because it had oatmeal oatmeal in it and then other supplements. But now, you know, this is an actual meal. Like I said, next episode, we're going to get into preparing more things, but let's see what we got inside. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm working with today. I got me, you know, some I love pumpkin, y'all, and some broccoli and some spinach. And for the seasonings, uh, sprinkle some cayenne on there. Uh, as you, you guys can see, some chopped up garlic. And also just a tad bit of lemon pepper. You know, lemon pepper really make it pop. But, you know, I just like having my vegetables prepared in a way where I don't need nothing in the side. I don't need to have no rice. I don't need to have nothing else. This meal is... It's perfect. I may not even finish this whole thing because that shake from earlier kind of weighed over. Might have to be some leftovers. But uh, I'm definitely about to tear this down, y'all. <laughs> it's about to go down. So family, thank you for taking this journey with us today. If there's anything you'd like to see us really get into in our future vlogs as far as what we eat in a day, how we meal prep, how we prepare food and whatnot, or routine our meals during the day, please just leave the questions down. But besides that, family, make sure to follow us on Instagram. If you like the video, like. If you want to engage, comment, and make sure to subscribe because y'all know we're going to keep on coming with that fire. All right? You got to borrow out of here. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to another episode of Say Yes. If you'd like to get your hands on some sea moss, chlorophyll, herbs, or other health supplements, including health conscious apparel, just make sure to click the link in our description below and visit our online store. And also make sure to visit us on Instagram for daily related posts and contests.